Hey you guys, welcome to Child's Play in Action. Today I'm talking about how gibberish is a great way to release emotion and talk to your kids. So it can be really hard to find out what's really going on at school or what happened on that play date because kids sometimes don't have the exact words that they want to use to, to communicate, but they have a lot of feeling. So the way that I use gibberish is just to let them release that feeling on nonsensical sound, and that way you can kind of start a dialogue even though you may not really, really understand still what's going on. It's a springboard into true communication. So for example, if you're sitting around the table, you want to talk about your day, you can even start like and then the kids can really engage in that. And also if you kind of lift your voice up like a question like and then you can actually even have fun switch over into English. So maybe it's a snap or a bell. This is like a little addendum you can do. So if you feel like you've gotten enough of the gibberish game, do gibberish and English. If they're starting to talk to you and they're able to communicate and express themselves through that gibberish and you snap over and say English, then it can be like, and then it made me really mad when he took that toy away from me. Gibberish, gosh, blah, 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 blah. And you'll be surprised how much emotion actually comes out of them when they really don't have to sort of think about what they're gonna say. It's especially great if they are talking about sibling rivalry or something going on at home or school that they really just need to release. For more games and tools on playful parenting, subscribe to our channel.